Hello and welcome to Map Making with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B. You, of course, are very, very welcome. And today is all about highways. From little things like lowering the height, the, the maximum elevation here of this intersection. I wasn't very happy with it. I'm a much happier with it now. And there's still some work to do on that intersection. To, now, have a look at the roads here. Little right turn here. Let me straighten them up a little bit. Hang on. A little bit of a bend on that one. And still saying right turn onto the highway. And if I tweak it a little bit more, there, straight on. How about that for a result? Merging straight ahead. I was hoping for that and I managed to get it. <laughs> so, yes, the start square is. See that dotted line there, the top of the screen? Yeah, that's the border of the start square. I just want to get the highways nudging their nose into it, and then we'll leave it completely at the discretion of the city builder what they want to do with it from this point in. But I'm quite happy, quite happy with them coming in at this exact location. And there's plenty of build space, actually build plane, in this particular square. So all is well and good. Right, so yeah, today today is all about highways. There's plenty of work to do with highways. Still got a lot of way to go, a lot of way. Uh, like actually connecting, connecting. This is kind of disconnected at the moment from the outside connections um, and the bridges and all, all, of, all, of, all the good stuff. You know, the good stuff. Yeah, still not entirely happy here. I, I will get that. I'll get that. I'm probably going to come back and, I would say, try not to sweat the small stuff at the moment. But equally... If I can see it's clearly wrong and probably won't need changing, I may as well make it right. So anyway, here we are. This is the uh, this is where the roads are coming in. We need to connect this up now with that particular intersection and such. And as you can see, we're we're coming in on it's a hill. It's not a, it's not a superly crazy hill. It's about 20 meters in height. But 20 think about 20 meters, guys. Think about 20 meters straight up. There is still quite a bit of an elevation going on. So what I want to do is I want to smooth that out a little bit. I don't want to bring the height down because I do want that bit of elevation. You do kind of need some elevation in this. Otherwise you end up, you look like the Netherlands and nobody wants to look like the Netherlands. <laughs> Sorry, Netherlands. Um, yeah, and uh, now here's a little thing. See where I've, it's automatically done that as elevated because it's kind of a little bump in the land. Now, the amount of times that we see this left, um, uh, shall we say lesser map makers? I'm not bragging here. Okay, I'm not saying I'm a master map maker. Far from it. I've just seen a lot of maps. Far more than most, and possibly more than everybody. I don't, I don't, has anybody seen more maps than I? I don't know. But uh, yes, uh, as I've seen so many, I have seen many a map maker that has just left that kind of thing and accepted it as being, oh, it's good enough, isn't it? Well, not for me, not for me. I'm not saying I'm going for perfection, but I'm going for better than good enough. I want it to be um, good, well, yeah, good enough. <laughs> but in my, in my own standards, my own levels and so forth. Right, so today is about connecting the highways up. I'm gonna have to, there's a couple of things with that particular, the start square intersection that I want to work on. And also today, the um the harbour bridge you know the lifting bridge we put in a couple of days ago again we've got a little bit of um elevation issues going on there um just due to a little bit of terraforming issues that i didn't fix properly i may have to go back and tidy that up later on when i do my final checks and do my fly throughs and make sure that everything is fine but yes we will want to be sorting out the um the connection this week from the Star Square intersection down to the harbour and the lifting bridge. So that will be coming in this week. And once that is done, that is probably everything I want to do with highways. I will be putting in a rail connection this week. That's that's for definite. Probably on Wednesday. Probably. Um, I, I want a rail connection, not to the mainland. Uh, sorry, not to, uh, on the mainland, not on the island. So off in the fog, basically, is what I'm saying. We'll be going off to the fog um, to put the, put the rail connection. The rail connection is gonna be more there for people that want the rail connection. I don't feel I would want one on this particular map, but I don't feel there's any real major harm 
in having one this time around it's uh it can it, i've got a little spot that it will work right i like say literally right in the corner right off in the fog it's an option and uh, as i've said before this particular map most of the build plane is in uh well it's in the 25 tiles yes but it's only about i don't know, did I say it was four tiles approximately four tiles of build plane uh, on this main island that you're looking at here so it's going to be a good map for for detailers uh not those that want to do a huge city but it's kind of like a like a more rural aspect anyway to this one and then for those that need a little bit more build plane i have the um the crescent moon island which brings in another two maybe three tiles i think it was, I think it was only two tiles in total um off to the top um left hand corner of the map as we look at it when we look at it from the like mainland out so uh so we've got that going on so in terms of build plane, and then there's a little bit of mainland but the mainland is literally all in the fog yes you can switch the fog off that is an option if you want it and uh then i'm gonna make an allowance to allow shipping to come to the mainland so that freight if you want to ship freight doesn't have to come all the way to the island uh it wasn't part of the original plans but i figure that that is kind of going to well it's going to be a needs must for this map so i'm going to work that one in a little bit um be later that'll be wednesday it won't be today's episode because today's episode is all about this now uh, this is episode 24 don't mention this already i've got some that some issues here with elevations of the roads you can see i'm just going to sort these ones out with the align tool with move it uh, which people reminded me of a few episodes ago but yes um episode 24 now episodes are approximately uh 15 minutes long and are usually at double speed which means we are up to 12 hours of build however make a mental note in the back of your head today's episode is actually triple speed uh i had to spend a bit longer on the on this little particular episode than i would like to i'd like to keep it to half an hour where i can just for bite size shows i don't want them to go on for an hour i know some of you would love an hour long special of map making and uh, uh yeah i'm sure a lot of you would but there's also a lot of you that just want the bite size would put off by oh i haven't got an hour I'm already watching 15 minutes of what map and uh, you know, watching me drive from uh, Bangladesh to Senegal in my truck uh, <laughs> and, and XCOMing it. I know I put out a lot of material, so um, I'm, making it, I'm making it workable for you guys anyway. I'm still um, sorting out little bits here. I can, I'm sure you can see what I'm doing on the screen. So yes, um, so triple speed. This was about 45 minutes worth of build. So if you are keeping a mental log of how much time has been spent building the map, we are currently at um, 12 hours and about 15 minutes or thereby. Although to be honest, there was an episode earlier on which was slightly shorter by about five minutes. So maybe, maybe 12 hours, 10 minutes. But uh, if we say a smidgen over 12 hours so far, I've gone into this and there's still a lot to do uh foliage for starters on the main island we've got well we've got some some trees on the hills which was something that i needed to do quite early on was to sort out the trees on the hills just to uh, give me a feel for the hills i wasn't feeling the hills at all they were very marshmallow like they were too high if you want to go back and check this one out i couldn't tell you which episode but um having built the hills and was quite happy with them the thing with city skylines as we've already seen in this episode the hills are bigger than they will appear each one of those gradients there is a meter not a foot which is what we used to learn in the old days when everything was in black and white and in the uk you needed a license to own a dog yes it's true kids you did need a dog license and, and black and white TV was a thing. In fact, I had a black and white TV quite recently um, in, in terms of Reels Where I was trying to think, what year would it have been? Um, for just over a decade ago, I actually owned a, black, a working black and white TV that was in daily use. Um, it was at work and it was something that was sort of like was, uh, in the staff area, for want of a better phrase it didn't actually <laughs> digressing away from map making here um you can see what i'm doing i'm not going to tell you what i'm doing um yeah it had no buttons this tv had no buttons 
it also had no remote control because uh, first of all i know you kids <laughs> you kids you go yeah remote control has buttons not the tv there might be some buttons on the back bonbon did you check on the back bonbon no no it had no buttons at all it had two dials one of them was the um was the volume dial which doubled as the power switch so you'd 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 literally rotate this um it was it was say yeah dial like um like a wheel but uh ed edgeways on the wheel so you you're, you're rotating the tire I'm, I'm trying to do a bad job of explaining this aren't i so yes so the first one was very much like like a wheel end side on so you're you're rolling the tire with your thumb and uh, that would click the tv on and give you power and then um as you turn it further and further it becomes louder and louder and louder of course this is a crt a cathode ray tube tv because black and white it would be wouldn't it so uh yes it was um it would take a few seconds to warm up <laughs> and then the picture would slowly emerge and then for channels uh channels was a dial and a dial um which is more like um the, a clock face there we are like a clock face like moving the hands on the clock except for you're moving the whole thing like spinning spinning a plate in the microwave by hand so that's a better definition of this one so yes um this dial uh now in the uk at that time we had four terrestrial channels um bbc one uh the main bbc channel god bless the bbc yes um and then um the bbc two the secondary bbc channel and then there was ITV, Independent Television, which is commercial, the, the main commercial um, television uh, station that's been around since whenever. And then finally, uh, Channel 4, which is sort of commercial and sort of owned by the state. A little bit of both. <laughs> Just a, li a little bit complicated. It's a complicated little channel. And it was designed to do things that mainstream TV wouldn't show. So they would they would do more risky shows shows that um the bbc or the itv well the itv couldn't risk because they're commercial they needed successful shows so channel 4 came along and it could do different stuff like the simpsons was uh innovative clearly innovative at the time um and and that was a channel 4 show a very big one at the time and uh yeah and of course their game shows such as countdown brilliant show very very simple no big prizes who's going to watch it we'll take a gamble well that is still running today and as a spin-off as well an adult spin-off for that matter as well we won't we won't talk about adult spin-offs will we no we need an adult spin-off for what map don't we <laughs> anyway yes so long story very short i had this black and white tv and it served me very well at that workplace and I, I was the governor and it, it survived I mean I was there best part of a decade and it, only in the last year before I left did we have any problems with with it and, and it finally died it died it was sad it was a sad day mind you we don't have a terrestrial signal anymore now it's all digital and so therefore um, terrestrial TV sets are a thing of the past Right, uh, now here's me having a little bit of um, difficulty. Having placed this um, this prop, this underbridge prop, to make it look like a, a stone thing, um, I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it then, uh, no, just a couple of episodes ago, that each end of them had, uh, had just disappeared. And I know, oh, I'm pretty sure it was nothing that I'd done. It was just an in-game thing. So I decided that this was the episode I come back and, and try and fix this. And I figured, well, the only way I can get it to do is by just elevating the actual roads a little bit more. I think I think this is the episode that I do it. I might I might be doing it on Wednesday's show. I've recorded of a uh, you know a couple of shows back to back, and I can't remember which one I did what in. We'll, we'll make it up. That's why I'm talking about the television, <laughs> the black and white TV. Ah, oh, those were the days. And seriously, I do miss. I do miss when TV was a huge thing. I know it still is a huge thing, but the internet is much, 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 much bigger than it used to be. And I, and I love the internet. I love YouTube, and I love things like Google. Hey, Google, <laughs> how many days until Christmas? And there's your answer. Whereas before, you used to literally get that calendar and go, there's 30 days and then there's four days left of this month and there's 25 days in December. Do we count the night that we fall asleep? And you you know, <laughs> you know. Oh, bless Google. What would we do without Google these days? 
well, I guess we'd use Bing or something. Oh, the early days of search engines as well, when they weren't search engines. Oh my goodness, oh, we'll have to talk about that in, in, in Wednesday's episode maybe. We'll talk about search engines before search engines. Oh, you kids, yeah, you don't know what you what you missed. It's oh, it's a different world. Everything's so easy for you guys. Anyway, right, that's going to do for today. I think um, I'm pretty much sure that everything's good there and there. Right, so at that note, we will call it a day. Thanks very much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Join me for Wednesday on Wednesday for a little bit more, where we will connect up that lifting bridge with the main highway and uh, a few other jobs as well. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you tomorrow for a little bit of what map. Don't miss what map. Monday morning, uh, Tuesday morning. See you then. Bye now.